Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. So today we want to talk about faithfulness and gentleness. And the first translation that we read on Sunday is uh, the first two actually are faithfulness and gentleness. The next one said, we find ourselves involved in loyal commitments, not needing to force our way in life. And the last one was having faith, being gentle. Faithfulness. The Bible is full of scriptures about the faithfulness of God. He's faithful even when we aren't. Faithfulness isn't about deserving. We don't deserve God's faithfulness. And so when we are faithful to others, it's not because they deserve our faithfulness. It's a character that we want to exhibit in our lives and walk out so that we are faithful. Not, not, it's not about others, it's about us. How can we be faithful to, to God and others? The, that's something that is a challenge, I think. It's not one of our challenges right now, but um, it's something that we should be thinking about. Uh, sign up for my YouTube channel and make a comment under the video. I'd love to hear how you think you can be faithful to God and to others. It gives us uh, something to think about, something to meditate on. Gentleness. Proverbs 15 verse 1 says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up ang anger. Can you think of a time where someone said something truthful to you, but it made you angry? It's the tone in which that they, they've spoken to you, right? It's, it's like um, when my kids were really young and if somebody did something wrong, I made the other one apologize, and and if somebody, if one of them said, sorry, it's like, not really. <laughs> it's like your tone really conveys what's in your heart. And so when we speak to people, our tone really shows what's in our heart. And if gentleness is, is in our heart, we can even say something negative, but it can be well received because people see that, that it's with gentleness and love. But you can say the right thing and it's not received because it's not with, with gentleness. Gentleness makes all the difference. It demonstrates a care and concern and, and oftentimes love. Our tone can create an instant wall in someone's heart so that they don't receive what we're saying, or it can help tear down a wall that's already there. So gentleness is such an important thing, our tone and, and, and how we respond again, the motive of our heart. I have two challenges for you today. The first one is demonstrate faithfulness for, to someone today. If you don't know who, ask God who he wants you to demonstrate faithfulness to. If you don't know how to do it, ask God and he will show you. But demonstrate it to someone today. Your second challenge is choose to speak in a gentle way. And if you choose to speak with gentleness to everyone you speak to today, it will cause you to be aware. It will give you an awareness that uh, a lot of times we don't have. It's so easy to just be gruff with someone and, and uh, allow our feelings to to filter through what we say. But if we choose gentleness, it will actually transform our lives. So bless you as you walk in faithfulness and gentleness today. We'll see you tomorrow.